All right. Good evening, everybody. Sorry for the delay there. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump in. Thank you all for joining tonight. Um, this is Beer City Breaks. My name is Aaron. I'm coming to you from Asheville, North Carolina. I uh, do appreciate y'all joining tonight. Uh, we should be all good to go. So we can jump right in. Let me go ahead and just double check the team list. And let me see. Let me go ahead and pull up. I do the stream through my computer and I'll just always pull up my pull it up on the video. There we go. Or on the video, on my cell phone. Sorry, it's only Monday. It's gonna be a rough week. Alright, here we go. Alright, welcome Matt. Needed act downtown, a bunch of micas. We'll see what we can do. Twenty boxes. So I figure we got some good shots to find some good stuff tonight. Um and Jeff, alright man, thanks for joining tonight. I appreciate that. Yeah, I've done primarily most of my breaks through, I had done most of them through YouTube up until about a month, month and a half ago. So I'm um, still getting used to the Facebook Live uh, approach, but ultimately my goal is to try to, um, you know, somewhere down the road, move everything into Facebook, uh, maybe bypass eBay altogether. But it'll be a little while before we get to that point. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, let me do one thing actually real quick. Let me go ahead and get the randomizer going. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to give away a couple of cards. Um, one card I'm going to give away is a jersey card for Amon Ross St. Brown. Got to remember I'm a little higher up on the camera there to show all the boxes. So I'm going to give that away. Uh, the gridiron gear from this year's playbook. Um, and then also going to give away a Scripps Quinn and Williams for the Jets autograph card from Mosaic this year. <clears throat> So I will randomize those off at the end. Um, so let me just go ahead and get a couple of randomizers ready. I don't think we'll probably need more than the two for the two giveaway cards. There shouldn't really be any mixed team cards in this set. So let me go ahead and get these together. All right, and let me get a refresh the dice roller all right good deal all right Jordan thanks for joining man I appreciate that let's go Vikings get some good stuff for you hopefully all right so let me show real quick I'm gonna lift the camera up just to show you we got 20 boxes here all right so we got one two three four and five hiding down there then we got six seven eight and nine 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and 17 18 19 and 20 and i'm going to grab this one off the top here because it's starting to lean a little bit all right uh let me go ahead and show the team list and it takes just a second it's a little delayed on the phone so let me just wait and see once I, once it shows up on my phone what the screen looks like on the computer. Let me go ahead and Okay. All right, looks pretty clear, I think. So I'll go ahead and scroll down. And I just took the name straight from eBay, so these should look familiar. One of these days, uh, probably by the end of the year, <laughs> I plan to get uh, look into some streaming software. I've said it before, but uh, at some point, probably the next two months, I'm going to go ahead and look into some streaming software just to be able to uh, make it a little bit more seamless. All right, jump back over here. Let me go ahead and get the stream up on my computer again. All right, good deal. Well, let's go ahead and jump in. Let me, actually, I keep saying that, let me just open up some top loaders real quick. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Thanks again for joining. So we got 20 boxes. Um, what I'll do within each box is uh, we've obviously got 
uh, several packs, 24 total cards. And what I'm going to do is I'll open all of the um, packs within each box all at once. And then we'll take a look at everything all at once within each box. So obviously the big thing we're looking for is some downtown. So, you know, I, I ordered these through Target um, on their website. So they're not necessarily from the same case. So that could either be good or bad. Either we hopefully hit at least one. Hopefully hit more than one. <clears throat> Um, I do have five um, Walmart Megas that came in today, bought uh, from somebody in my Discord group. Got a, a decent price. I have struck out so far uh, when it comes to looking in my local Walmart when it's come to Optic. Uh, two weeks in a row, you know, with the Blasters two weeks ago and this past week with uh, the Megas. Nothing. So... Uh, I've got I was able to get these through Target's website, which I usually have a little bit better luck. And then uh, I've got some of the hanger packs coming at some point, or the seller packs rather. All right, we'll go ahead and jump in. Good luck, everybody. Starting off, we've got Herb Smith for the Vikings, Cooper Cup, a rated rookie for Panay Sewell. While he's a great player, very glad the Bengals. The Bengals are my team. Glad the Bengals uh, passed him up and took Chase instead. Uh, Alex Leatherwood on the pink, rated rookie. Unfortunately, it doesn't sound like he's uh, in uh, high regard these days within the Raiders organization. Uh, we got Hunter Renfro, Vince Young, rated rookie. Zach Wilson, not a bad way to start us off. Looks pretty good. Pretty decent centering, maybe just favors the right side just a teeny tiny bit, but not bad. I'll get that one sleeved up and top loaded in a moment. i uh, got the Retro Series for Eric Dickerson, going to the Rams. Jamal Williams, Marcus Davenport, Patrick Sertan. Got a, a hollow rated rookie for Asante Samuel, going to the Chargers. we got Emmett Smith, Carson Wentz, Jabril Cox, rated rookie. Then we got a pink for Jalen Waddle. It's a nice looking card there going to the Dolphins. Damian Harris, Calvin Ridley, Josh Palmer on the rated rookie. Got a pink for Kelvin Joseph. Got Mark Andrews, Asante Samuel on the regular rated rookie. Then we've got the um, Rashad Bateman on the Elite Series rookies. And then we've got a hollow of Patrick Queen for the Ravens. Oh, thanks, Paul. Sorry to see that comment there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know that first break. It might have been a little rough with the. Uh, I guess that was what playbook. Was it playbook or was it? Uh, yeah, I think it was. All the way back in March. So, yep. Still room to improve, but uh, yeah, definitely come a long way since that first one. All right, get a couple more sleeved and top loaded. Oh, not a terrible box for the first box. So let's jump into box number two. I'm going to grab another one of these from the top there. So I don't fall over. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens with Zach Wilson. Hopefully, uh, it sounds like he avoided a more serious injury. So hopefully he'll get back by the time the season starts or shortly thereafter. But uh, I am... Uh, if not joined a break with me before. I am uh, from Cincinnati originally, live down in, in North Carolina now, but uh, definitely a big Bengals fan. So, especially since the Reds haven't done much this year in baseball, definitely looking forward to football season. So, I guess about a week and a half and we'll get started with football. Can't come soon enough.
All right, box number two. Starting off, we got Derek Barnett for the Eagles. George Kittle got a Amon Ross, St. Brown, rated rookie going to Detroit. Got Rondell Moore, rated rookie pink for the cards. And we got Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Trevon Morrig, safety for the Raiders on the rated rookie. Got a retro series for Barry Sanders going to the Lions. And we got Justin Jefferson, DeForest Buckner, uh, Travis Etienne. So maybe not the Jag we're looking for, but we got plenty left to go. Uh, on the hollow, we got Tutu, Tutu Atwell going to the Rams. For the Chiefs, got Larry Johnson, Matt Ryan on the Falcons, Larry Roundtree. Got a pink for Peyton Turner. Steve McMichael, Tyler Lockett, uh, Shane Buscelli, rated rookie for Kansas City. Got a Michael Carter, pink, for the Jets. Then we got Odell Beckham. Nope. Thought one was hiding behind him there. We got a Amir Smith Marset for the rated rookie. Uh, Antoine Winfield on the Rising Suns. And a hollow for Tyler Boyd. Oh. <clears throat> Pretty nice looking cards there. So nice little hit there for the Bucks. Uh, I guess not a whole lot more of the uh, 2021 product left. I did uh, some 2022 Prestige Blasters last night, and it's just funny to run across the 2021 rookies, and they no longer have the uh, rookie card designation on them. Gotten so used to doing 2021. Obviously, a more, a little more exciting draft class in 21 than in 22. And I guess we'll have to see which, uh, which of the rookies from this year's class will rise to the top. And let's see. Hopefully next year's draft class, 23, will be a little bit more exciting when it comes to quarterbacks. Thankfully, knock on wood, uh, the Bengals are in pretty good shape when it comes to quarterback. Just got to prepare for that second contract for Joey B. And then, of course, followed by Jamar Chase after that. And then even T. Higgins, so it'll be interesting. Hopefully they can keep all of those guys together. That would be nice. Tyler Boyd may be the odd man out at some point, but we'll see. Alright, box number three. Yeah, definitely looking forward to watching some football again on TV. One of these days, I was hoping, I think the Bengals play the Panthers and the, the Falcons, and those are the two closest teams to me in, in uh, Western North Carolina. I'm about three, three and a half hours from Atlanta, and then two plus, maybe two hours and 15 minutes from um, Charlotte. So I was kind of hopeful maybe the Bengals would be playing either in either one of those places, but in fact, both of those teams are going to be playing in Cincinnati this year. I think the last time I saw the Bengals play live, I think it was actually in Atlanta in 2010. <clears throat> but I've got uh, Prime, so I know I can watch Thursday Night Football. i got to check and see if... Um, oh, what is it? Yahoo Sports app if they still do the uh, they still televise or show the games that are nationally televised I uh, was able to watch quite a bit last year with uh, Yahoo Sports all right here we go we've got Joe Montana got a little kind of imperfection there kind of hard to see with the lighting there you go it's just maybe a little slight uh, discoloration or something at least it's just a Joe Montana all right we got Quinn Williams Kenneth Gainwell 
Got a Ronnie Perkins, pink, for the Patriots. Got Hayden Hurst, Vaughn Miller, rated rookie for Jamar Jefferson. Cornell Powell on the pink for Kansas City. Got a Tom Brady, base. And again, kind of a little, like I said, it's like a little discoloration almost there at the top, unfortunately. Got Joey Bosa. There's a Michael Parsons on the base, rated rookie. Get that one sleeved up in a moment. And we got Javante Williams. Picked him up in one of my uh, fantasy drafts this year. Uh, we got Jamison Crowder. Oh, Chris Evans on the rated rookie. Good player, but uh, again, not the one we're looking for. Got a gifted rookies for Elijah Moore going to the Jets. Derrick Henry on the hollow for the Titans. Michael Thomas, Jim Kelly, Ramondre Stevenson on the rated rookie. Got Tommy Trimble on the pink. Zach Cunningham, Kenny Galladay, Chaz Surratt. Hey, we got a My House going to Zach Wilson. Nice kind of color match there. Well, so far, Zach Wilson's hitting a little bit. top loaders. <clears throat> yeah, so far the Jets aren't doing too bad there. I know, I know. Hopefully hopefully we'll get some uh, QBs other than Zach Wilson in short order here. Yeah, looking forward to Javante having him on my fantasy team. Wonder if uh, how much Melvin Gordon will uh, cut into his carries, but Seems like those guys do pretty well, even though they're a tandem. And Micah Parsons, actually another guy I picked up from my fantasy league. So I've I joined two dynasty leagues, inherited a couple teams this year, and then um, I have one league I've been in for probably about 11, 12 years now. And uh, in that league, we do individual defensive players. So we ended up with... I think we have a defensive line spot, we've got a defensive back spot, a linebacker spot, and then a general defense spot, that uh, defensive player spot, so you can pick you know any of the positions. Uh, that's all in addition to the actual uh, team defense. So I had uh, Micah Parsons last year for a little while on my team. Picked him up again this year. Let's see, he's quite the stud. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. I mean, that's true. Yeah, that will definitely help his longevity for sure. Keep him fresh. Kind of like Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb in Cleveland, so it's not a bad thing. It can be a little frustrating sometimes for uh, fantasy football purposes, but that's not quite as important as the uh, the game itself. All right, we got Chase Young, Brandon Ayuk, Amari Rogers, rated rookie, Jalen Darden on the pink. Got Justin Herbert and Tyler Boyd. Got a Trey Lance. There we go. Uh, base rated rookie there. Nice hit for San Francisco. And we got Kyle Pitts on the pink going to Atlanta. And we got Steve Young in the Buccaneers uniform. Micah Parsons again. Well, there you go. A couple Micah Parsons there. Then we got Travis Etienne on the Gridiron Kings going to the Jaguars. Tua on the hollow for the Dolphins. Got Robert Tanyan. Josh Allen, Luke Farrell, a pink for Greg Rousseau, Tyreek Hill, Nick Bosa, Nico Collins, rated rookie, and we got the legendary logos for Baker Mayfield for the Browns, 
even though of course he's no longer there. John Riggins, Chase Edmonds, Aziz Ojolari, and Zayvon Collins, rated rookie hollow. I like these legendary logos cards though, they're pretty neat looking. So a nice little hit there for the Browns. I will say, I mean being a Bengals fan, obviously I'm not necessarily a Browns fan, or a Steelers fan, or a Ravens fan. I do like individual players though, I've got a Najee Harris uh, signed helmet. So I may not be a fan of the Steelers themselves, but I do like Najee. So, um, but uh, there's a part of me though still that uh, wants to see Baker Mayfield exact a little revenge on his former team in Week One. I don't think uh, the schedule makers could have made that one any better than they did. So that'll definitely be interesting. I mean, you know, I guess love or hate Baker Mayfield. I know, obviously. There's some differing opinions out there, but, uh, you know, and I know football is a business like any other business. Uh, sometimes your job isn't necessarily always secure, and somebody might uh, find somebody they like better. But nonetheless, it will be, uh, be nice to see if Baker Mayfield can get a little payback. And with the way uh, their preseason's going, he may be the only uh, he may be the only uh, healthy quarterback on the roster. With Matt Corral and uh, Sam Darnold getting injured. All right, let's, let's go ahead and jump into our next box, number five. Yeah, that's true, Patrick. You're right. You're right. <clears throat> yeah, I did have. I had Baker Mayfield on my uh, fantasy team two years ago, I think, and I can't even remember now. Like I've, I've always had. Two years ago, I had Dak Prescott and I had Joe Burrow as my because we do a, like a two quarterback. Well, it's a one quarterback, one like super flex spot, so you can use a quarterback. And two years ago, I had Dak Prescott and I had Joe Burrow. And, you know, I was thinking I was doing pretty well, especially that year Dak Prescott really liked. He was uh, torching opposing teams in the first few games of the year. So I was sitting pretty, thinking I was going to do real well. And, of course, both those guys get injured. Looks like we might have a, a mem card here. So, and then last year I had uh, Jimmy G, Jimmy Garoppolo, and Kyler Murray. And, of course, you know, Murray kind of faded down the stretch. That's kind of always been my weak spot. So... This year I got T-Law. He's my starting uh, QB. I got Matt Ryan as my second one. I did pick up Baker, you know, and again, uh, I mean, I did get Deshaun Watson, hoping maybe a little uh, late season jolt when he gets back. So we'll see how that works out for me. All right, we got Vince Young, Chris Evans. Oh, nice. Okay, well, we got one of the, um, like the flame or the fire short print cards there for Johnny Smith going to the Patriots. Not the pat we're looking for on that particular card, but we'll take it. I uh, got another insert for the Browns. Uh, Jamie Gillen on the Global. Born in Scotland. All right. We got Steve McMichael for the Bears. Cooper Cup. Greg Newsom going to the Browns. Eric Stokes on the Pink. Rated rookie. Jarvis Landry on the Browns. Pete Werner. Gifted rookies for Devontae Smith. There we go. A little hit for the Eagles. And there's Melvin Gordon on the hollow. Nice looking card. Uh, DK Metcalf. Be interesting to see how he does without Russell Wilson. Uh, we got Keeney and Wang Wu running back. Uh, oh, sh mm -hmm. I almost said a bad word there. <clears throat> I don't know if that's allowed. I guess it is. I don't know. It's a private group ish, right? Holy cow. All right, look at this. Nice hit there for the Bengals. Holy cow. Dang. All right. Man, oh man. That is a nice looking card right there. Woof. 
Excellent. All right. Well, congrats there to the Bengals. That is a killer card as a Bengals fan. Going to Adam B. All right, man. Congratulations. As a Bengals fan, I love this card. This is beautiful. Excellent. Yeah, that is a nice looking card there. What I will do on that is I will check the comps on eBay and I will definitely insure that for um, whatever you know the, they're going for these days. Uh, and I will not, ch I won't charge any extra, of course. So I will definitely get that insured. I'll probably also ship that in a box just so that it's well padded and well protected. Yes, definitely some fire right there. I had joined a group, whoops, uh, or at break, through um, my Discord group uh, a couple weeks back, and I did hit a Najee downtown. That was pretty cool. Um, I've mentioned before, you know, if you've been in a break, you've heard me say it. If not, you know, I'm more of a memorabilia guy than a card guy. I do have some cards I collect, but I ended up selling the Najee. But they're beautiful cards for sure, especially with that Najee with, like, the Steel City uh, motif. <clears throat> Oh, nice. Did you really? A gold kaboom? Yeah, that is pretty sweet. Well, I do have my, uh, I've got my mini helmet over there for Jamar Chase, so I do like that one. And I will say, too, I always do a little plug. I, I'll, I'll get moving on in just a second. I always do a little plug for BS Collectibles. B is in boy, S is in scouts, so BS Collectibles. Today, uh, this one came in. Um, I won in a break last week. My full-size replica Joey B on the Lunar Eclipse. So if y'all like uh, you know memorabilia breaks, I definitely like uh, like those a lot. Uh, BS Collectibles is a really good one. Um, they do stuff through eBay. Um, they do it on YouTube, but they do it through their Facebook group, do it through their website. So check them out, BS Collectibles. All right, enough talking. Javon Holland on the pink. We got a Larry Johnson on the Chiefs base card. Mike Davis, Frank Darby, Kyle Trask. All right, not bad on the pink. Uh, Marcus Davenport. Ramondre Stevenson, and we got a Simi Fajoko. So maybe not the cowboy we're looking for there, but we'll take it. Nice looking card. I like these. It's got a nice background there, or a nice surface. And like I said, what was that? The blue hyper. And then we got the Jalen Darden on the hollow. All right. I do have some thicker sleeves. And top loaders for these guys. This actually, I had, I only managed to get um, three of the blasters from Walmart's website. I have rarely ever had luck with uh, Walmart online, um, but I actually was able to snag three of them. So I did end up uh, getting the semi Fajoko actually as well. <clears throat> All right, little Kyle Trask. See if he ever gets an opportunity. Tom Brady ever finally decides to retire for real. Yeah, that was a killer box right there. We had the, uh, the flame short print as well. A couple of nice inserts. So, yeah, that was pretty sweet. And the mem card. So, yeah, that one was loaded. Can't complain about that one. All right, we'll go ahead and swap out the gifted rookies there. And let's see. More. Yeah, when I ship, um, I will definitely um, sleeve and top load all of the major rookies, you know, the Mac Joneses and Trey Lances. Uh, those will get sleeved and top loaded, whether they are inserts or um, base cards. Uh, all of the inserts will at least get sleeved. A lot of those will get top loaded as well. All right, next up. Uh, and I'm thinking probably, realistically, I've got to get the Prestige Blasters from yesterday. Uh, sort of those. I just need to get those packaged up. And my goal is to get those tomorrow night. So most likely, I'll get these cards uh, packaged up on Wednesday. Um, and hope to get those dropped off um, Thursday at the post office. Oh, oh my gosh. She's well protected there from my clumsiness. There we go. But what a hit. I like that, too. That's a really nice looking card. Trying to think, being from Cincinnati, trying to look and see just, uh, you know, what are some of these. And they got the Bengals, Tigers there, of course. But uh, trying to see if kind of look like some of the buildings from the zoo, Cincinnati Zoo. That might be. <clears throat> 
Yeah, that was, uh, that was box number five. So I got uh, five, 10, 14. So yeah, so this is box number six. So we are 25% through. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to either get some more from Target uh, or get some more, uh, find some at Walmart just to be able to rip some myself. Since I do, I will say Mosaic was probably one of my favorites, but I think uh, Prism, you know, just was kind of a little lackluster. So, um, but Optic, I really like. I think Optic's probably one of my favorites. All right, we got AJ Brown. Uh, give me one second. It looks like my battery uh, or my laptop has come unplugged. Definitely do not want to lose power there. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. Didn't want to lose you guys. All right. So we got A.J. Brown. Still with the Titans uniform there. Larry Johnson. Travis Etienne. All right. Still looking for a T-Law, though. Uh, got Emmett Smith on the hollow going to the Cowboys. Michael Thomas. Steve McMichael. Larry Roundtree. We got a Greg Newsom on the pink. Zach Cunningham, Demarcus Lawrence, looks like another Shane Buscelli. Uh, we do have a Chris Evans on the pink. Guess we can't complain since we hit the uh, Jamar Chase. Devin McCourty for the Pats, Amir Smith Marset. Then we got a gifted rookies for Rondale Moore. Travis Etienne again, this time on the hollow. Got Eric Ebron, Dallas Goddard, Panay Sewell. Ramondre Stevenson, so again, not the pat we're looking for, but nice looking card though. Uh, Brandon Ayuk, Ladanian Tomlinson, another Zach Wilson, and we got a Red Hot Rookies for Najee. Alright, not terrible, but we still need to find some more quarterbacks other than uh, Trey Lance and Zach Wilson. And I guess contrast. Yeah, I need a Fields. A little T-Law, Mac Jones. But we got 14 boxes to go, so hopefully we can find some of those guys. Let me uh, relocate some of these. Make a little bit of space. All right. Next up, <clears throat> box number seven. Oh, no. One of those is that's interesting. Usually they're all in the middle. That one jumped over. I wonder if that means anything. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, glad I got to. Some of those Rondale Moores. Looks like we got a Mac Jones coming, so that's good. Yeah, we'll try to find you, uh, find some, uh, some Vikings in there. Yeah, it'd be nice to hit another downtown. That would be for sure. And again, like I said, these all came from various cases, so you know I'm glad we at least hit one. But uh, certainly possible we could hit more than one. I like Rondale Moore too. I mean, he was one uh, like earlier this year, especially with like Playbook and uh, a couple others uh, that I would get into breaks with the Cardinals because they were kind of, uh, you know, they weren't quite as expensive as some of the other teams. So uh, that and the uh, Giants a lot of time to get some Kadarius Tonys. All right, starting us off, we got Rob Gronkowski going to the Bucks. Chase Young, hope he comes back strong. Jake Funk. Rookie card for the Rams. We've got a global for Chuba Hubbard. 
from Canada. All right, interesting. Didn't know that. Lamar Jackson, Dan Marino. Got a Greg Rousseau on the rated rookie for Buffalo. Quiddy Pay on the pink. Michael Gallup. Got a Kyle Pitts base. And then we got a Rising Suns for Cooper Cup. Felipe Franks on the hollow. Not sure he'll get a whole lot of action this year. Looking forward to seeing if Desmond Ritter, as a University of Cincinnati alum, looking forward to seeing some of those Cincinnati guys this year that got drafted. We got Matt Stafford, Jimmy Graham, Jalen Darden, and there we go. So Mac Jones on the pink. I was thinking it might be something, either a pink or a hollow, since it was the last card in the pack. So there's a Mac Jones, nice looking card. Going to the Pats. And let's see, we got Miles Garretts, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, got Elijah Mitchell. A pink for Elijah Vera Tucker. Got Brandon Cooks, Mike Kosicki, Caleb Farley for the Titans, and Tyron Matthew on the hollow for the Chiefs. Nice card there for Cooper Cup. He was on my fantasy team last year. Again, last year's team, I was always ended up being second. So I made it to the finals, came in second. Still won 300 bucks, so I couldn't complain a whole lot. But uh, my quarterbacks kind of let me down. Actually, my whole team really kind of ended up fading a little bit in that final game. But I had Cooper Cup, Debo Samuel, Jonathan Taylor, and really Debo and Jonathan Taylor. I picked those guys up at a good price because we started doing last year a, uh, you know, you get a, a limited amount of money to spend during the draft. So, which yeah, it's not terrible. Not a terrible way to do it, but uh, I got a pretty good deal on Debo and Jonathan Taylor in particular. <clears throat> Yeah, the Bearcats, that was really good to see them do so well last year. Yeah, I mean, I, I graduated, I guess, 2005, so it's been a while. But I definitely uh, haven't been to a Bearcats game in a long time. But definitely still a big Bearcats fan. Went to Cincinnati, went to Xavier as well. So obviously the big uh, basketball rivalry each year with the Crosstown shootout, but uh, I still root for Cincinnati over Xavier. Spent far more money at Cincinnati, more time than I did at Xavier. <clears throat> but yeah, it'll be nice to see how those guys do this year. I uh, saw that Ahmad Gardner is going to be a uh, starter now. Do have a, another jersey card, so I'll put that one on the bottom. Got to keep the suspense going. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see if uh, you know Desmond Ritter. I mean, I like uh, Marcus Mariota. So we'll see how he does, but certainly waiting to see if Ritter gets a chance. Oh wow, Matt! So two two downtowns pulled. Yeah, I mean that's a uh, that's a possibility though. That would be pretty cool, especially like a Mac Jones or a T Law, something like that, or a Trey Lance. Those are definitely some nice looking cards. All right, next up we got Marcus May, Matt Stafford, Simi Fajoko. Then we got Pete Werner going to the Saints on the pink. Uh, let's see, we got Blake Martinez for the Giants, Lamar Jackson, got Dwayne Eskridge. And let's see, so we have a global card for Javon Kinlaw for the 49ers. And let's see, born in Trinidad and Tobago, nice. Got Mike Kosicki, DJ Shark, got a Trey Lance again. One of the 49ers, we got Greg Newsom on the pink, 
Clyde Edwards Hilaire, Michael Vick, another Michael Parsons. Well, there we go. Ask and you shall receive. Uh, we got Chris Evans on the pink. I think that's our second one. Chris Carson, Luke Farrell. Got a Dominators for Russell Wilson going to Seattle. Ryan Fitzpatrick on the hollow. Kind of sad to see him retire, but had a pretty good run. We got Rob Gronkowski, Amari Rogers. Uh, let's see, we got a hollow for Ryan Tannehill for the Titans. And our jersey going to Chase Claypool. Okay. On the optic threads. Interesting. I guess I just kind of always got uh, so used to seeing them, seeing the rookies as the ones who get the jersey cards, but not bad. Actually, also in addition to that Joey B, I won a Chase Claypool autograph helmet last week, too. The Maple Tron. <clears throat> All right, not bad, not bad. Let me get a couple more sleeved up and top loaded real quick. Um, actually, speaking of memorabilia breaks, I will actually have one Saturday night. So I actually put that up uh, a little early, earlier, excuse me, tonight. So I'm going to have that on Saturday night. So I did a three mini helmet, RSA mini helmet break a few weeks back. And I thought I might try something a little bit different. So it'll actually be a 10 item box break, mystery, all mystery items. So that'll be on Saturday night. And so I've got, at least initially, I mean, RSA uh, is kind of the most cost effective company to do those through. So at least to start, uh, I do have, there's seven total items from RSA. I've got a two mystery footballs. I've got two regular mystery helmets. One of the mystery helmets that's a specialty helmet. And then I've got two of the current stars mystery jerseys. And then I've also got a Schwartz Sports uh, mystery helmet, mini helmet. A BS Collectibles uh, mystery jersey. And then a TriStar mini helmet as well. So 10 different items. Obviously not every team is going to be able to hit, but uh, should be fun. Looking forward to it. I had reached out to uh, Steel City Collectibles and to see if I could kind of get access to their Gold Rush products at wholesale. So I think all I have to do, I've filled out the form, i got to send that in. I think once you send the form in and they kind of verify your information, I believe you're, you're good to go. And then you at least have access to uh, their releases at wholesale prices. So at some point I'd like to be able to do that as well. I know, T-Law, where are we at there? Oh, let's see. Oh, nice, Jeff, nice. Purdue grad, excellent. Yeah, David Bell, that's not bad. Is that Browns? Is David Bell with the Browns? All right, we got uh, Tua, T.Y. Hilton, Jalen Phillips, Andre Sisco on the pink. Again, not the Jag we're looking for there. Curtis Samuel, T.J. Watt, Jamar Jefferson. Got a legendary logos for Detroit. Jared Goff from the Lions, Bo Jackson, George Kittle, Kenneth Gainwell, rated rookie, Hollow, Josh Allen for the Jags, Jeff Akuda, Joey B, Tommy Trimble, We've got Kellen Mond on the pink, rated rookie, Melvin Gordon, DeForest Buckner, Chuba, We've got Rashawn Slater on the pink for the Chargers, Matt Ryan, Javon Holland, rated rookie. Uh, Trey Lance on the Gifted Rookies, and then we got a Devontae Parker on the Hollow.
So yeah, I do have some uh, of the optic cello packs coming in at some point from Target. I don't think any of those have even shipped yet, so yeah, probably be another week and a half. Um, somehow I was able to snag uh, Card Giants had a sale on Friday earlier in the week. They had a sale for Select 2021 Select Blasters, but their website is evidently not um, cut out for handling large amounts of traffic. So I was not even not even close on the blasters for Select, but. Friday they dropped the, uh, oh, there looks like a T-Law coming up there. So we'll be in luck there for the Jags. And then really just the Bears are the ones that we need to, still need to find a rookie QB for. But I was able to get um, 16 of the like hanger packs for Select. That was the max. You could do, I guess it's maybe one box, so you got one order. Uh, you can do a max of 16. So somehow, I don't know, that website just kept on giving me error messages. I was able to cart things finally, and then I was able to like go to the checkout. I was able to get PayPal, but I mean, every time in between, it would like freeze up and you know shut me out in between. So eventually, I, I don't even know. Like I just kept hitting up PayPal, and eventually, I just looked at my email and saw that I had an order. So I was like, all right, we'll take it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. I mean, we got, uh, let's see, we got two, six, we got ten boxes. So we're just halfway down after this one. So we got plenty of time to find some Justin Fields. All right, we got a Zach Cunningham, Carlos, Boogie Basham, and then a Jets, Michael Carter on the Gridiron Kings, Quinnen Williams for the Jets on the Hollow, Adam Thielen, Eric Ebron, Tutu Atwell, Christian Barmore on the Pink, Got Tyron Matthew, Brandon Ayuk, Quinn Miners, rated rookie. Got a red hot rookie He's going to Kyle Trask for the Bucks. I will say I did hit a white hot rookies, I think, uh, Justin Fields through my one of my Walmart blasters that I was able to snag. So he's out there somewhere. Khalil Mack, Tyler Boyd. There he is. Alright, look at that. We speak and he appears. So we got Justin Fields. Finally. To base, but we'll take it for now and get a start of there. Chris Evans. So again, can't complain. We got that Jamar downtown, but uh, we got a lot of Chris Evans. Would be nice to see some uh, Jamar. Uh, we got Ezekiel Elliott, Steve Young again on the Bucks, Sam Ellinger, Rashad Bateman on the pink, going to Baltimore. Then we got Johnny Smith, Josh Allen, Brevin Jordan, and the T-Law pink. There we go. Yeah, one of the cards I got, I did get a T-Law base rookie in one of the uh, Walmart blasters, and I think I'm going to send that one in to uh, PSA to get it uh, graded. See if I can get a, a 10 on that one. I guess it does seem sometimes a little tricky with Optic to get the uh, centering right. I don't know, you would think in this day and age, like it would be, I mean, I'm a, I'm an accountant by trade, so I'm certainly not an engineer. <laughs> but you would think that it wouldn't be that hard to have a little more consistency in the, uh, you know, the cut of the cards. I mean, if it's machines handling it, but again, I don't have any expertise in that area. Maybe they do it on purpose just to provide a little more rarity for the, uh, the Jim Mint variety. <laughs> All right, let's see. So we have a two, six, nine, and ten. There we go. I can count. It's an important skill. I guess I do. I do internal audits. So technically, I'm a CPA, but uh, you know, I don't actually really do a lot of accounting work. More internal controls testing. Obviously, I have to have a, an accounting background to some extent, but. Basically, just make sure that everybody's following the uh, procedures so that uh, the CEO and the CFO can sign off on those financial statements with the SEC. <clears throat>
All right, not bad too far, or so far, too far. It is only Monday. I didn't really get a lot of good sleep last night. I got to take the dog to the vet in the morning. He's having some stomach stuff going on, so he kept me up pretty much all night long. All right, here we go. Good luck. We got Peyton Manning in the Colts uniform. We got Khalil Mack, Greg Rousseau, Aziz. And we got Deion Jones, probably a Tyler, oh no, Ezekiel Elliott, not a locket. There we go. Jake Funk, Elijah Moore on the pink. Jonu Smith, Jacob Harris, Rising Suns for Jalen Reger. Who kind of seems like he's got something to prove still. The jury's still out on him. Panay Sewell on the hollow. Got Russell Wilson, Jalen Reger again, Hunter Long. Pink for Adafi Owe for Baltimore. Baker Mayfield, Joey Bosa, got Trey Sermon. A retro series, Steve Young. Well, they really went all in on the uh, Steve Young in a Bucks uniform in the optic. Got Robert Woods, Aaron Jones, Alex Leatherwood, and a hollow for Uter Gross Matos for the Panthers. Yeah, kind of an underwhelming box there to get us started with the second half. Go. We got Heinz Ward and kind of, uh, I don't really know what to call that, kind of like an imperfection there, like on the bottom left. Can't really feel it on the surface, but uh, I guess that's kind of like underneath that top layer. That good old Panini quality control. Got Emmett Smith, uh, another Michael Parsons. I think that might be number four at this point. So plenty of Parsons in there. Uh, we got a hollow for Barry Sanders. Nice looking card for the Lions. Jimmy G. Damian Harris, Luke Farrell, Dwayne Eskridge on the pink, got Mike Evans, Jalen Hurts, Nico Collins, actually picked him up off the waiver wire in my one fantasy league, kind of as a, just to kind of wait and see how he does, Amari Rogers on the pink, we got Stefan Diggs for the Bills, Aziz for the Giants, a rated rookie, then we got a gifted rookies for Zach Wilson, uh, Peyton Turner, let's have kind of a little Imperfection there on the bottom. Um, hollow, we got Mike Davis, Jerry Judy, got Elijah Moore, rated rookie. And there's a Trey Lance on the pink. And let's see, Darius Leonard, Corey Davis, Odafe Owe, and a legendary logos for Carson Wentz. I guess maybe they're going for current players, but it would have been kind of nice to see a legendary logos with Peyton Manning. Or even, uh, I don't know if they're all quarterbacks on those. Maybe that's maybe they're all quarterbacks. I was going to say, even Jonathan Taylor. I, mean, I think you can probably pick some 
somebody a little bit better than Carson Wentz. Ah, what the heck, we'll, we'll throw him in here. Alright, so get this uh, Trey Lance there. Sleeved up and top loaded. Yeah, I had, uh, last year, I wasn't able to get him, uh, didn't, not either of the two Dynasty League teams that I inherited this year, um, nor in my drafted league this year. Wasn't able to get either Trey Lance or Justin Fields, but I had both those guys last year on the bench. Used them when they were available. So I definitely like both those guys. I'm curious to see how all those second-year quarterbacks do, and even really Davis Mills. You know, he may not get quite as much uh, publicity as some of the other guys, but I'm curious to see how he does. Texans probably still have uh, some room to grow before they're going to be a contender, but... <clears throat> of course, definitely curious to see how the Bengals do. I think this has a... Feels a little fat, so I think this must have a jersey card in it. Yep. But definitely be interesting to see how the Bengals do, given the uh, definitely, I mean, they've got a great offense. Only thing that worries me a little bit is the offensive line depth. I mean, obviously, they went out and they did a great job at signing starters on the offensive line, but uh, their depth a little thin, so we'll see. But defense is looking pretty good, but trick will be the uh, much harder schedule this year. I've got another T-Law coming up. Oh, nice. Yeah, Mahomes and Lance. That's not bad. Yep. I liked having Lance last year. I was hoping he would kind of, you know, get a little bit more play than he did, but um, but definitely curious to see how he does this year. All right, we got Jerry Judy, Mike Vick, Kadarius Tony. There we go. I haven't seen him tonight. Uh, Rashad Bateman on the pink. We got Corey Davis, Chris Carson, Jalen Phillips, and another T Law pink. There we go. Nice hit for the Jags. Had a lot of Travis Etienne early on, so it's nice to see uh, some T-Laws popping up. Got Nick Chubb. Uh, did, I did draft him in my fantasy league to go along with Javante. Uh, Jamar Jefferson. Hey, there's another Justin Fields on the Gridiron Kings for the Bears. Uh, we got Jeremy Chin on the Hollow. Darius Slayton. That sounds like there have been some rumors he may get traded. Uh, Tyler Higby, guy I actually drafted uh, in my fantasy league. Kenneth Gainwell, J.C. Horn on the pink for the Panthers. Jordan Poyer, Christian McCaffrey, Tommy Trimble, and legendary logos for Matt Stafford. Does have kind of, again, a little bit of just imperfections there on the surface. Got Randall Cobb, Chuba Hubbard. And we got a Terrace Marshall Jr. on the Rookie Phenoms jersey for the Panthers. And then we got Devontae Parker on the hollow. I may still try to get down and see a, a Panthers game at some point. Tickets shouldn't be too hard to come by with those. Oh, let me open up some new sleeves. Looks like I run out there. <clears throat> yeah, it'll be nice. I forget how many primetime games the Bengals get this year, but uh, it will be nice to have a chance to see some more of uh, the Bengals. Last year, only was able to catch one or two, I think, in the regular season through uh, the Yahoo Sports app, so that was nice. But, of course, getting to watch all the uh, postseason games was pretty cool. Obviously sad to see them uh, lose to the Rams, but, you know, it was kind of nice to see Matt Stafford 
after all those years of languishing uh, with the Lions. It was nice to see him get a Super Bowl ring. And then uh, really even, uh, you know, nice to see uh, I, Andrew Whitworth as a former Bengal. And way back when, when I was in my, uh, man, I guess that might have been mid-20s, uh, waited tables for a little while. I actually had a chance to wait tables, uh, served uh, Andrew Whitworth. That was probably 2006. I think that was the year he got drafted. Um, and he was a real nice guy. I'll get some more top loaders. Real friendly, real nice. You know, I've, there are a few people I've waited on, you know, that were athletes or, you know, well-known people. And I would always be discreet. I never let them know I knew who they were. But uh, he was a pretty good tipper, though. I think it was like a 50% tip, if I remember right. <clears throat> also uh, waited on Jerry Springer at a different restaurant that I worked at. So that was funny. Just kind of almost did a double take, you know, when I when I saw who it was. But again, I didn't uh, just pretended like I didn't know who he was. Didn't say anything, and uh, he was a pretty good tipper too. So that was nice. A little claim to fame there. Oh, nice! You got James Cook. Yeah, I got James Cook too, actually, in my. Um, not the Dynasty Leagues, but the regular league. Um, I picked him up. I think I drafted him, if I remember right, in the later round. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what he can do. Especially if, uh, I mean, I don't know. I guess the Bills running back situation has a chance to be kind of frustrating for fantasy managers. With sounds like Moss is still getting some of the goal line carries, and Singletary is still looking pretty good. So... It'll be interesting to see how that plays out, but uh, Cook sounds like he's got uh, quite a high upside. All right, we got Hunter Renfro, Odell Beckham, Pete Werner, Patrick Sertan on the pink for the Broncos. We've got Irv Smith, Tyler Lockett, Keeney, Zach Wilson on the pink. There we go. Really, we just need a uh, we need a Justin Fields pink now. And then we'll have pinks for all of them. All the major QBs. We got Devin Singletary, Matt Ryan, Frank Darby, a Randy Moss on the hollow. Got Brian Dawkins, DeForest Buckner, Quiddy Pay, uh, Global, Joseph Asai. I forget, is it uh, Nigeria? Yep, Nigeria. That's what I was going to say. I thought so. So, a nice looking card. I'm, I'm actually excited to see what Joseph Asai can do. He looked really good in the one preseason game, albeit a preseason game. I think he got a. Uh, sack of Tom Brady and then of course he got injured very shortly after that so uh, definitely interested to see how he does <clears throat> give the Bengals a little uh, defensive line depth We've got Drew Bledsoe for the Pats Joey B again and a regular Mac Jones base rookie We've got a pink for Panay Sewell George Kittle Elijah Vera Tucker We've got a Amon Ra St. Brown Elite Series rookies and Mike Thomas on the hollow Again, it has a couple little pin pricks on there, but not too bad. Let me get a little water real quick. Oh, nice. She did blinds in Emma Smith's house. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I know, you know, in the end, those guys are just regular guys, but it is kind of neat, though, to have those interactions with them. <clears throat> then there was Willie Anderson. He was an old, uh, he was a, you know, right tackle for the Bengals for a number of years. He used to come into the one restaurant that I waited tables at and sit at the bar a lot. And I'll never forget as a kid, um, somehow, I don't know how I even, how even found out about it, but uh, the, the town I grew up, all of a sudden word got out that uh, Anthony Munoz, uh, another one of the Bengals' uh, tackles from, I guess, the 80s and the early 90s, he was uh, at a baseball or softball game watching one of his kids uh, play, and uh, so I ran home real fast and got me a couple Anthony Munoz cards. Came running back and uh, he signed him for me. So that was pretty cool as a kid to be able to have that experience. <clears throat> Just 
going to relocate some of these cards real quick, make a little room. All right, so we got six left to go. A little bit of a marathon tonight. Definitely be nice to hit another downtown. Glad we at least got the one. We've at least hit something for most of these uh, major rookies, but it would be nice to hit another downtown for sure. Jersey, at least. Starting off, we got Russell Wilson, Carlos Boogie Basham, Zach Wilson on the Elite Series Rookies. Got a hollow for Joey Bosa. Then we got Melvin Gordon, Deion Jones, Rashad Bateman, a J.C. Horn Pink for the Panthers, Jeff Akuda, Peyton Manning, Christian Barmore, another T-Law Pink. So I think that's our, our third one. So we started a little slow with T-Law, but we've uh, picked up speed. Got Bo Nose, Bo Jackson, Mark Andrews, Ronnie Perkins. Got a legendary logos for Patty Mahomes. For the Chiefs. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Curtis Samuel, Calvin Ridley, Cornell Powell, Ronnie Perkins on the pink. Got Chris Godwin, Tylen Wallace. Let's see, we got a James Robinson on the hollow for the Jags. And a rookie phenoms T Law. All right, well there we go. We will take it. Jags not doing too bad tonight. Be interesting to see as well. How does uh, Patty Mahomes do without Tyreek Hill? Will they be able to replace him with some of those other guys? I mean, even though Kelsey is getting a little bit older, but uh, you know, he's still a stud. Another actually a uh, University of Cincinnati product, if I remember right. Kelsey, that is. <clears throat> All right, five to go. So we are 75% there. I do think I keep forgetting. I have a, uh, I want to say, is it the Donruss Elite, maybe? I'll have to double check. It comes out like I think the second week of September. I did get a pre-order uh, box on that from Layton Sports Cards, if I remember right. So hopefully that'll come in at some point. I don't really do a whole lot of hobby at this point. Really, again, what I'd like to be able to do is you know get the Facebook group to a point where you know there's enough people where we can fill breaks through there. And it would kind of I'd be able to offer better pricing, and then you know I'd be able to take a chance on some of the hobby products. And looks like we got another jersey card as well. 
Nope, just uh, six cards in that one. I lied. That'll be interesting to see, though. We'll put that one in the bottom. All right. Matt Stafford, Robert Tanyan, Amir Smith Marset, Keeney. Got a Justin Herbert, another Shane Buscelli. Got a Dominators for Travis Kelsey. AJ Green, former Bengal there on the hollow for the Cardinals. Miles Garrett, Chase Young, Larry Roundtree, Pink for Frank Darby, got a Brandon Cooks, Dan Marino, Travis Etienne, rated rookie, Quiddy Pay Pink, Jonathan Taylor, Michael Gallup, Trevon Morig, got a nice hollow for Amon Ra St. Brown for the Lions. Alright, so this is our thick pack. Lamar Jackson, Tyree Kill, got Trey McKitty. Uh, another legendary logos, Jared Goff. A, another Chuba Hubbard on the global. And then a Terrace Marshall white hot rookie. So I guess that was, we just had three inserts stacked in that last pack. Definitely felt thick like a jersey. All right, uh, let's see, let me get the Amon Ross St. Brown sleeved up and top loaded at least. All right, box 17, I guess. 17, 18, 19, 20, there we go. <laughs> All right, come on, one more downtown at least. Let's... Let's get one more downtown. That would be nice. Well, I guess, you know, the one we really haven't seen is Davis Mills uh, for the Texans. That's the one kind of stands out. I feel like we, I'll do a, a recap at the end. I feel like we got something for Najee and a Jalen Waddle, I think. But yeah, it's kind of odd. No Davis Mills yet. We got Tyler Lockett, Kenny Galladay, Caleb Farley, a My House for Dak Prescott. Nice looking card there for Dallas to go with all those Micah Parsons. We've got Mike, Mike, Matt Ryan. Thinking still got Micah on the brain. Jameson Crowder. Hey, there's a Jamar Chase. All right, nice. Got a rated rookie base for Jamar Chase. Good deal. Let's hope we'd find one of those. Uh, Jeremiah Awuso Koromoa. Rated rookie for the Browns on the pink. Noah Fant. Zayvon Collins, Elite Series Rookies for Amon Ra St. Brown. Got a hollow for Clinton Portis, DeForest Buckner, DeAndre Swift, Deami Brown. Hadn't seen him much tonight. Might be our first spotting, actually. First sighting, rather. Anthony Schwartz on the pink. Another Joey B. Kenyon Drake, Chaz Surratt, Brevin Jordan on the pink. George Kittle, Terry McLaurin, Ramondre. And a hollow for Ryan Tannehill. jersey card in this one. Oh, and actually as soon as I open these up I'll go ahead and sleeve up and top load the Jamar Chase and the Dak Prescott. Jumping the gun a little bit.
get these guys sleeved and top loaded. Another guy that I drafted this year in my redraft league. Got Jamar Chase. So looking forward to see what he can do in year two. And let's look in my house for Dak. All right, yeah, Patrick, we'll see if we can get the, one of those pink fields for you. I mean, we've got them of all the other major quarterbacks, so let's see. All right, starting off, we got Russell Wilson. we got Brett Favre. Haven't seen him yet tonight. Greg Newsom, a my house for Derrick Henry for the Titans. And let's see, we got Deion Jones, Amari Cooper, Pete Werner. And we got a pink, Khalil Herbert. And let's see, Josh Jacobs, Keeney, and another Amon Ra, St. Brown, Gridiron Kings, Adam Thielen on the hollow, going to the Vikings. Got Peyton Manning, Marcus May, Frank Darby, uh, Pink for Terrace Marshall. We got Chris Godwin, Devontae Adams, Quiddy Pay. Uh, got a Pink for Nick Bolton for the Chiefs. And we got Jake Plummer. A Mac Jones base. And this one does have kind of some. Unfortunately, I'm glad we had some other Mac Joneses. This one's got like a kind of a jagged edge. You can kind of see. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Unfortunately, the camera's not really doing any favors there. But yeah, it's kind of got just like a kind of a jagged edge there down the left side. So, a little unfortunate, but at least we had a couple other. Mac Jones cards. At least get that one sleeved. Hey, let's see. We got a rookie phenoms for Devontae Smith jersey card and a Earl Campbell hollow going to the Titans since that's for the Oilers. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm trying to think who else was my. I'm trying to think of my other wide receiver. I think Terry McLaurin was my other uh, starting wide receiver. And like I said, I picked up Nico Collins. I kind of ended up. I think we got. We started with two hundred dollars for the draft, and uh, I kind of most most years. Last year, I kind of waited and was patient. And like I said, I got some good deals price wise on uh, Debo Samuel and Jonathan Taylor, but. Um, this year I kind of got a little aggressive early on, so I spent a lot of money on Jamar Chase and even on Nick Chubb. So we'll see. I don't have the I don't have the greatest depth in the world, but see how it all plays out. Okay, second to last box. Starting off with Quinnen Williams, Jarvis Landry, Greg Rousseau, Caleb Farley on the pink. Then we got Vaughn Miller, DK Metcalf, Kyle Pitts, rated rookie. Uh, Heinz Ward on the hollow for the Steelers. Got Barry Sanders, uh, Mike Davis, rated rookie for Jalen Darden. Got a white hot rookies for Trey Sermon. Got Keenan Allen. Darius Leonard, Elijah Mitchell, and Jamar Chase Pink for the Bengals. It's definitely been the Bengals break. Get that one sleeved up in a moment. Uh, Mike Evans, Caleb Farley, got a Najee on the Gifted Rookies. Hollow for Christian Barmore, Saquon Barkley, Cooper Cup, Jake Funk, and Elijah Mitchell on the Pink.
it a little more sleeved up for now. There we go. Alright, last box. <clears throat> Good luck everybody. And what I'll do real quick when we get done with this one, we'll do a quick recap. And then I'll randomize off the two giveaway cards. And we will call it a night. Like I said, if, uh, if you're interested in a little memorabilia break, a uh, 10 item break on Saturday night. So auctions went up tonight. Those will end on Saturday. And then probably Thursday this week, I'm going to post auctions for uh, five of the Walmart Optic Megas. And we'll do those next Tuesday. And I keep saying it, I've said it multiple times, I do have a Prestige, 2022 Prestige H2 Hobby Box. And I keep meaning to uh, post it in the group, in the Facebook group, see if we can maybe get it filled. But do it as a divisional. So it'd be eight spots for uh, the eight divisions. So hopefully tomorrow night I'll get that up, but I'll uh, tag everyone. All right, here we go. Last box, good luck. We got Tyler Boyd for the Bengals. Chaz Surratt, a Dominators for Dak Prescott, Felipe Franks on the Hollow, then we got Darren Waller, Brandon Ayuk, Ramondre, Tutu, got a Kirk Cousins, Eric Ebron, Chris Evans, Carlos Boogie Basham, got Jordan Poyer, Zach Cunningham, Greg Newsom, a Melvin Gordon, Hollow, Darius Slayton, Michael Thomas, Pete Werner, a retro series for Vince Young for the Titans. We got Corey Davis, AJ Brown, Keeney, and a pink for Elijah Molden to wrap things up. So just the one downtown, but we'll take it. Still never found any Davis Mills. A little disappointed in that one. It must be hard to find. Alright, so we'll do a quick recap. And just because I've got quite a few that I uh, top loaded, so I'll probably just sort of shuffle through them. And from time to time, I'll point one out, but I'll just kind of shuffle through them real quick. So, starting off with the Dominators for Dak Prescott. One of, I think, three, if I remember right, uh, Pink T Laws. Gifted Rookies for Najee, Legendary Logos for Patty Mahomes, uh, Rookie Phenoms Jersey for T-Law, Jamar Chase Base, White Hot Rookies for Terrace Marshall, Another T-Law Pink, Zach Wilson Pink, Legendary Logos for Matt Stafford, a Mac Jones, one of two on the base, of course this one looks a lot better than that other one, uh, Terrace Marshall Jersey, Rookie Phenoms, did get one Kadarius Tony at least, Trey Lance on the pink, Red Hot Rookies for Kyle Trask, T-Law our third pink, Gifted Rookies for Zach Wilson, had a Justin Fields base, got Trey Lance on the Gifted Rookies, hey, the Chase Claypool on the threads for Pittsburgh, and let's see, this was from our, our box that was, this is an appropriate card, it was Fire, um, so the Fire short print for Johnny Smith for the Patriots, Trey Lance, and Kyle Pitts, Rising Suns, Cooper Cup, Gifted Rookies, Rondale Moore, another Trey Lance, Rookie Phenoms for Simi Fajoko. Uh, there we go, that's right, I knew we had another Najee, Red Hot Rookies for Najee, Zach Wilson Base, Kyle Trask Pink, Kyle Pitts Pink, Legendary Logos, Baker Mayfield, Javante Pink, one of Probably four, I think, four or five. Micah Parsons, base cards, retro series. Zach Wilson, my house. Jalen Waddle on the pink. So I saw him early, and we really didn't see him again, unfortunately, but we'll take that pink. Uh, Zach Wilson, base. Rashad Bateman. Uh, rookie Phenoms for Devontae Smith, the jersey card there. Hey, the Justin Fields, uh, Gridiron Kings. Jamar Chase. Pink, and the My House for Dak Prescott for the Cowboys, a Mac Jones, Pink, 
And then the hit of the break, the Jamar Chase downtown. And again, when I ship that one, I'll check the comps and make sure to insure it for the, the latest comps. No extra charge. All right. There we go. Yeah, it was a pretty good break. Not bad at all. So we got two giveaway cards. We'll do these real quick. Uh, the first one we'll do is the Amon Ra St. Brown Gridiron Gear uh, from the Playbook Retail Series, I believe, from earlier this year. So let me bring the camera on over. And I do have random.org. I've got my teams loaded up. So what I'll do is I'll do the dice roller. And I'll just do the same number of roll or the same number of randomizing for each. So it looks like we got seven. Let me see. There we go. So a little bit of a lag, unfortunately, between the, what I see uh, on my computer versus what I see on my phone. So there we go. Now you can see we got seven. All right, so this first one, got the teams loaded up in there. First one will be for the Amon Ra St. Brown jersey card. So we'll do seven times. five, six, and seven. So let me zoom in real quick. All right, there we go, just wanna make sure. And that'll go to the Eagles. Congrats to the Eagles. Let me get a little piece of tape there. All right, and then get a fresh randomizer here. Second one will be for the Coonan Williams autograph, the scripts card from this year's Mosaic. All right, got all the teams loaded up in there again. So randomize seven times again. It's five, six, and seven. So there we go, and scrolling up, now to go to the 49ers. All right, good deal, well that's a break. Well thank you all for joining. Um, I appreciate you joining me here on Monday night. A uh, little bit of a lengthy break there, but I uh, had a lot to break. So I do appreciate it, and I hope to see you all in a future break. Uh, like I said, I'll have those uh, 10 um, mystery item memorabilia break on Saturday night, so check that out. Um, thanks again, and I hope you all have a great rest of your week.